Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock your 2005 Subaru Legacy Outback. Okay, so when I'm locking a vehicle, I always come over to the passenger side. It's just a matter of preference. You can go to either side. I always use Access Tools Super Air Jack. This is an airbag bladder that fills with air. It has this little air valve right here, this little pump, and it fills with air. And I'll show you in a minute how it works. Um, you can get this by calling Access Tools phone number here or going on their website. Um, if you're doing this yourself at home trying to save some money, you can go to Home Depot and get a similar bag from the door and window aisle. Um, just take your bag, deflate it. Again, these videos are made for training and educational purposes. Alright, sorry I got interrupted with the call there. So, deflate the bag. Uh, send it in through the door. Oh, I remember what I was saying. These videos are made for educational uh, purposes, not for criminal activity. So please don't use it to break into other people's cars. Definitely easier to do this with two hands. Um, you can also use a wood wedge or a plastic wedge to get in here. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so I look like an idiot. Give me a second. I'm going to pause the video and stick it in the door. Okay, so once you get the bag in like so, you can put it anywhere you want, wherever it fits in the door, doesn't really matter. This is a frameless window, uh, so the glass is just going to probably pop out of the trim up here at the top. Um, close the air valve once you get the bag into the door, and pump it up. Once you pump it up, it'll just push that glass out. Like I told you, it's going to pop right out of this trim up top there. You only really need enough of a gap to get the tool in okay so the tool that I use to unlock the vehicle is access tools green reach tool this is a quarter inch metal rod coated in plastic it has this rubber tip on the end of it so you won't crack your windshield or damage your door panels it has this handle at the end so you can make your maneuvers uh, you can get this by calling access tools or going on their website also if you're doing this yourself at home you can bend up a couple of coat hangers just make sure you tape up the end of it really good so it doesn't mess up anything inside or you can buy a quarter inch metal rod at Home Depot feed it in through the door frame like so come over here to the flipper lock hook it flip it backwards maybe forward on this one I think it's forward so just get your tool behind it and nudge it forward like so pull your tool back out deflate the bag and open your door and there you go and so let me just show you with a better view now that we got a the door open what i'm doing here is coming through the door frame window frame it's not going to hurt the glass you can see it can rub against the glass and not hurt it now if you make your own tool you're going to want to make sure you coat it very well because any bare metal that rubs against your glass is liable to break it then once you get inside with the reach tool that's why it's important to put tape on the end of it if you make it yourself uh, because you're going to need some friction here against this plastic to push it forward and you're just going to get it on that little flipper lock there and then just push it forward you know like so and that that will unlock it and then when you shut the door you'll see that it, the glass goes right back to where it should be it doesn't damage anything there's no chips in the glass or anything like that from the the tool going in there's no damage to your door panel or anything like that that's how you unlock your car all right guys that's how to unlock your subaru outback i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe drop me a comment and i'll see you on the next video bye now